Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would film my everyday makeup routine. It's so simple and takes me 10 minutes max. I start by dotting the NARS tinted moisturiser in the shade Tech Neuve all over my face, and then I use my Beauty Blender to blend it in. I like to take this quite slow. I don't use that much product and the Beauty Blender definitely soaks some up. But while my skin is clear, I find that this just evens out my skin tone. I don't apply it directly to my under eyes, but I do kind of blend it upwards and then into my inner corners as well more to prep the area for under eye concealer than for the coverage itself. It's Thursday when I'm filming this and I'm going to Venice by myself for a week on Saturday morning, so I'm very excited. I really loved vlogging Paris, so I'll definitely vlog this trip as well. Now that our base is blended to perfection, I'm going to go in with my under eye concealer. I use the Benefit Boing Bright On Concealer in the shade Lychee, and I apply it more on the bottom of my dark circle so that I can blend it upwards. I find if I apply too much product immediately under my eye, it creases throughout the day and I blend the concealer using my finger because I find that the warmth of my hand makes it melt into my skin better. I always use patting motions as well to ensure I'm getting enough coverage. I also take the concealer into my inner corners as you can see here as well because it gets quite dark there. Such good coverage and look how bright the area is, I love this concealer. Then on any other blemishes on my face I use the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the shade One Oat. This has a much more neutral undertone that matches my skin well. The reason I used the Benefit concealer under my eyes is because it's very cool toned and pink counteracts the darkness under my eyes really well so it's more of a colour correcting exercise. I also blend in this hourglass concealer with my fingers. The coverage is so good. On my cheeks I use the NARS blusher in Deep Throat. I'm dusting it lightly onto the apples of my cheeks using the iconic London Highlight and Blush Duo brush. Then I add some to the bridge of my nose as well. This blush is really buildable. This is very much a no makeup makeup look. Then to set everything in place, I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Translucent, and I'm applying it using the Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush. I have combination skin with an oily T-zone, so I tend to just set that area. I actually don't set my under eye area every day because the Benefit Concealer kind of self sets. For my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown just doing my usual brow routine which is using the spoolie side to brush my brows up then i'll go in with the pencil side and fill in any gaps and add more of a tail like most people my brows aren't even and i like to just stick with their natural shape i'm not too bothered about them looking symmetrical i just want to give them a bit more volume without having them looking too dramatic back to venice while i do the other brow ba actually cancelled the flight i originally booked so now my flight is at 8 a.m on saturday and i'm working today and tomorrow i'm still on reduced hours at work so i'm going to try and use tomorrow morning to do as much packing as possible the hotel i'm staying in looks really nice so i'm excited to see that hopefully there'll be enough natural light for me to film some tiktoks now onto eyelashes, I'm using my Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers, these are so good. The Glossier Lash Slick Mascara is a new favourite. I discovered it while I was filming a full face of Glossier for TikTok and I've used it every day since. I usually go back and forth between each eye until I'm happy with the length and the volume. I tend to prefer my mascara when it's dried up a bit and this one feels like that from the moment you open it. It doesn't clump my lashes together and doesn't weigh them down. My eyelashes have never looked so long. And finishing off with another new discovery, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Petal. I really love these glosses. The doe foot applicator is quite big and holds a nice amount of product, and the gloss itself is so shiny and creamy. I absolutely adore this colour as well. And we're done. I'll link the products I used in the description box. Goodbye!